Hello everyone, and this time, welcome to another video on the Fox Tech YouTube channel. So this topic that we're going to discuss today is regarding the Apple Music and what you can do in order to fix it in case it's not working. There are possible reasons why this may be the case, so let's cover everything right now. The very first problem may indeed be related to your internet connection. So whether you're connected to Wi-Fi or a cellular data, you want to make sure that the connection is stable and that it works properly and exactly the way that it should. So of course, make sure that you have the carrier plan going on, make sure that the Wi-Fi you are not only connected to, but also also that the Wi-Fi has proper internet connection and the speeds are fine. So this would be the very first step to make sure that the Apple Music works the way that it should. Then what you have to do is to make sure that the subscription is still valid. Something could have happened with your payment method or whatever that is. You have to make sure that the subscription is right. So of course, open up the settings as I did right here and tap on your name at the top of the list. You can see name, phone number, payment, and also subscription. So tap on the subscriptions, wait for it to load up because it needs internet connection for that. And for me, active Apple Music, you can see it is active. You can browse and check out exactly on which date it's going to renew. That means that you're going to be charged on that date how much it costs, which plan you have. And if it were not active, you would see it somewhere around in here. So perhaps you canceled your subscription. You may be part of the family sharing group, but you may not be the initiator. And if the head or the, the group leader of the family sharing group for Apple Music has canceled the subscription and you are part of it, then Apple Music will not work for you. In that specific case, perhaps you're going to have to make sure that you pay the individual plan for Apple Music, not the family, whatever that is, but you have to make sure that the subscription is valid, active, and that it does work. Then what you can do is to find out if there is any bug within the music app, because you can always just go ahead and remove the app. You can delete it entirely, not just remove it from the home screen, but you can delete the entire music app. Even though it's a stock app from Apple, you now have the option to do so. And after that, you will head over to the App Store and locate the music app and reinstall it once again. So that's how you can make sure that you reset the app, you reinstall it. That's how you can find out if there was some kind of glitch in the, the version of the app. So that's one of the things you can do as well. But you can also check out if there is any outage. So what you can always do is to open up and fire up your web browser, whether it's Safari or anything else, but just check out this page. It's called a system status on your support. So yeah, you can on this page, you can actually just open it up and see if all the services are operating normally. If you click on the plus icon, you can browse through all of them. So you can see App Store, Apple Music, whatever that is. But you want to make sure that the Apple Music is available, Classical is available, Apple Music Radio is available, Apple Music subscriptions may be down. So there are a bunch of different things which could go wrong with your Apple Music, but it's not even your fault. If here you can see something that it's not available, all you have to do is just to wait. And I'm pretty sure that Apple is going to repair it pretty quickly. They just want to make sure that everything runs smoothly. So I don't see any reason why they would not want to fix it. Then, of course, the thing you can do is to restart the iPhone and update to the latest version of iOS. This always helps because you can always just make sure if you're running the latest version as I am in here. But in case not, you can always just go ahead and update to the latest version, get the best of the best. And this will make sure that you run on the latest software. So that's about it. That's how you can fix Apple Music when it's not working. Make sure to try out all the different things. And uh, yeah, hopefully the video helped you out. If it did, make sure to leave a thumbs up under this one to let me know you liked it. And for more content, also subscribe to the, to the channel so you don't miss future videos like this one. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll catch you later on in the future. Peace out till then.